Question 2. The first term of a geometric progression GP is 2. The common ratio of the GP is also 2. The product of the last two terms of the GP is 512. Determine the number of terms in the GP. So that is the question. Uh, given the first term of uh, these um, GP is 2. So how do we write the first term? The first term of a GP is A. That is 2. Then uh, given the common ratio, the common ratio is 2. Now the product of the last two terms of the GP is 512. Now how are we going to write the last term? Let's begin with the last term. The last term of the GP is the nth term. So the last term is equals to the nth term. And this is how we write the nth term. The nth term of um, a GP, a geometric progression, is written as uh, AR raised to the power n minus 1. Now what about the other term? Because we're given the last two terms. This is the last one. Now there's something that will help us here. I suppose we have a GP and this uh, GP, the first term is A, the second uh, term is AR, uh, then uh, the third one is AR squared. Uh, the other one you can go on, uh, the other one is uh, AR raised to power 3. So the first term is A, the second term is AR, uh, the third term is AR squared, the fourth term is AR cubed. Now I want to, to check um, the difference in the powers the difference in the powers between two adjacent terms of a GP. Now you notice that um, the difference in power is 1. So that means if the last term of this um, geometric progression is n minus 1, then the previous term should be a r n minus 2. You're just going to subtract from n minus 1 you subtract 1 and this will give n minus 2. So this will be the term. Then the last one will be a r n minus 1. Since the difference between two adjacent terms of a GP, when you look at the powers, you notice the, the difference between the powers is 1. And I've given the example using this. Look at this a r raised to the power 1 and a r squared. You look at the power 2 minus 1 is 1. Then the next one is 3, the power is 3, minus 2 is 1. So these are the last two terms of this GP. Now given that the product, the product is um, 512. Now how do you get the product? Since we have the first term and the common ratio, we're going to insert them. And this will give um, A, which is 2, multiplied by, uh, common ratio is that. Then this is N minus 2 then multiply by 2 this is now the last term times r is 2 then n minus 1 this product is supposed to give 512 now this is what you're supposed to solve now when you look at these uh, the left hand side just look at this uh, left hand side you notice that we're going to apply the knowledge of indices all the bases are the same look at all the bases here all the bases are the same so if all the bases are the same and you're multiplying then it means you're going to add the powers using the laws of indices so then we have one plus we add the, the powers minus two plus one plus n minus one so all those are the powers is equals to 512 now after getting that if we add these 1 plus 1 plus n, this will give uh, 2 uh, raised to power 2n. Then when I add 1 plus 1, this will give um, 2 and then uh, minus 3. So this will give negative 1 is equals to 512. Write that one to the base of 2. If you write that one in form of prime factors of 2, the base is 2. This 512 will give 2 raised power 9. And these, um, having arrived at this stage now, uh, to solve these, you're going to, since the bases are the same, you're going to drop the bases and pick the power. So you're going to pick the powers and equate them, and you'll have 2n minus 1 is equals to 
9 and when you solve these uh, you notice that n will be 5 and that is uh, the solution because you are required to get the number of terms of the GP and that one is denoted by n. n is the number of terms so there are 5 terms of the GP and that is how we are supposed to solve that question.